everyone welcome back for another video in today's video we are going to discuss about the items encountered in preparation of a bill of quantity have you ever been looking at a bill of quantity then you saw uh, things labeled items especially in takeoff uh, there are things that we do items or oh, and so in a bill of quantity we allow a sum of money for some things we do not measure them as individual items we just allow some a sum of money for example we allow 50000 for the watering of the site so these are things that have not been me measured specifically uh, in these cases uh, we shall be able to see that most of these items are allowed because we cannot be able to measure these things from the drawings remember when you are doing the tendering process uh, what is provided is the drawings the specifications and the um they are documents so some things you have to be on site so that you can be able to measure accurately how much it will cost but because we have to tender and allow we allow some sum of money to cater for those items which is provisional meaning that it can change when we go to site so uh what are these items that are uh, usually we encounter in a bill of quantity one we have the extra over item two the deemed to be included items sport items plant items and protection items and now we shall go to look one by one what these items mean. Extra over items it means uh what you've been measuring a type of work then uh, there is an additional cost that will come as a second item compared to the first. For example, we have been excavating soil. Then we get to where there is rocks. You know the cost of excavating soil and rocks, they are not the same. So there, it will cost us some extra money to excavate for the rock. So we shall calculate uh, the excavation for rock as extra over, over the excavation of the soil. Do you understand? Yani, calculating the ex uh, extra work that has come up because of the rock, which will cause us more expensive than excavating the soil. When we are excavating the rock, we shall say it is extra over for the excavation. Okay. Mm -hmm. The next item is deemed to be included items. They are items that uh, we do not even need to calculate for them. They are already included. For example, rough cutting in brickwork. Whenever we are calculating uh, the cost of bricks, uh, we have to include the rough cutting in brickwork automatically. So these are items that we will, uh, which are deemed to be included. Yani they are just in the BQ. We don't need to sp to say it. Uh, multiple handling of excavated materials, uh, square cutting of timber frames. You know, we, are, we will say about timber frames which are square cut, but automatically we will add the cost of cutting them into square. The other one is the spot items. They are spot items, they are items to be priced which the estimator should see on the existing premises. This one usually is before we do the construction. There are items on the construction site. For example, we have old shelters, we have hedges and trees, we have manholes, uh, breaking up pavements, all these things we need to remove them. And because it will cost us some extra money, they are usually written in a separate section of the bill and they are calculated either from the notes that are given or when the estimator goes to site and then the total sum is is entered in the bqs spot items plant items these are the costs that are involved when you are dealing with the plant there is cost for carrying the plant to the site and taking the plant out of the site another one is maintaining this the plant on site so this one the all this cost we shall add it as a sum as an item uh in the bill of quantity so they are plant items items when the smm uh, it says that uh, an estimator should be able to add uh, an item for protection uh, after measuring everything that is measurable so that to protect all the items in the section just in case uh, maybe the price goes up to cover up for that price we need a protection item for it's just like an insurance or a contingency so that item is called a protection item it's usually added to every section so that uh, just in case the cost changes uh, everything will still work out the project will not stop for watching uh, those are the items that are 
I encountered in the bill of quantities that was a question that was asked and if you have a question kindly write it in the comment section so that you can be able to answer it so thanks for watching see you in the next video